Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a look in on the lasagna bin. The last time that we saw the lasagna bin, it was in crisis. Uh, we had a burst pipe that uh, flooded this and caused it to need to be reworked. Um, if you haven't seen that, I will click that at the end, or I will link that at the end for you to look at. But here we are, and I'll put how long it's been since we've looked in on it since it was flooded and we rescued it. So what we did was we added more cardboard to the lasagna and kind of started remaking it so that the moisture could get um, all sucked back up. And this is kind of one of the reasons that I started doing it was uh, I thought that the corrugates in the cardboard would also make a lovely place for them to have babies. And as you can see right here uh, there are two worms breeding, and there is also a cocoon here, a cocoon here, and a cocoon right there. So uh, that does kind of, you know, prove a little bit of a point that they do like breeding and the cardboard. Plus, it's a lot easier to see it. Like there's a cocoon here, here, and here. So let's end here. Let's look and see what else we can find in the bin. So we're continuing to flip through the cardboard and we're seeing cocoons all over the place. Now I don't know if I'm just seeing them all over the place because it's easy to see them against the cardboard or if they really do enjoy breeding there. But there's a good size cocoon there and one there as well. And we actually have multiple worms breeding. We've got a set here and a set here. Um, so they do appear to be happy. More cocoons here and here. Continue looking into what basically was the mushy part last time. It is still a little bit mushy. Uh, this is what's left of the lasagna from after it was uh, found to be flooded. But it looks like the worms are super happy. There are just literally cocoons everywhere. Here, 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 here. That's that's a lot of cocoons in here. So uh, they are having a good time in here. I did not feed them last time for fear of kind of making the bin, uh, I don't know, go anaerobic because of all the moisture. I was trying to use the different cardboard and whatnot to uh, soak up all the extra so that it would not get um, horribly, horribly wet. Let's look at the other, the other side here and see if we can find anything else. More cocoons here. And then if you look here, there's one, two, three, four, five, and I'm losing Yep, six. Continue looking through the layers of the cardboard here. This is just one of my experiments. People are like, why on earth would you ever do this? Well, um, it's an interesting way to do a worm bin. Um, you can do it without shredding paper if you don't want to. More cocoons all through here and there. And it seems like they lay them right in the little flutes here. I don't know if it's easier to wiggle out of the, the cocoon, but that is where I see them. You can see one right there, and I lost it. Where'd the other one go? I'm also seeing a good number of mites. Oh, there's one there. But they do seem to like the cardboard, um, whether it be shredded up or not shredded up. So we're getting down to the part that was the old lasagna here. Put all the brand new bedding in here to kind of sop up the extra water and they look like they're doing really good. There's no standing water in here right now so that's, that's good. That's what I was hoping for was that all the extra bedding would uh, sop up everything. Most of the time I don't put shredded bedding in the lasagna bin, but this time I made an exception simply because I wanted to try and rescue the bin as much as I could. So looks like they're doing 
a good job here. So I don't really want to add food that's going to make this wetter. So I'm going to do something a little unusual for the lasagna bin and I'm going to give it some worm chow. So this is my new worm chow that has the, the bird seed in it in addition to my usual oatmeal and um, cornmeal and wheat flour. So I'm going to flip back over to this side and then we'll just feed across the wet part, you know, for the, the worm chow feeding. You can see we meet in the middle here. And then these worms won't have to uh, worry about everything getting more wet with the food. Because I still think that we are borderline a little bit uh, too wet for this kind of a bin. Um, all right, but this bin does have its own playlist, and I will link that over there. If you want to see the catastrophe that happened the time before, I will link that over there. If you like this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button, and if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.